In today's episode, we're going to talk to some friends of mine, Damien and Maggie. They constructed this ICF house more than 16 years ago. So let's go talk to them and listen to their story. I think it's pretty cool. Let's check it out. What made you we guys were, decide to build the ICF in the first place? We wanted to build the log house, but after doing mm. a bunch of research, we realized too much maintenance, not really, mm. there was too many issues. After looking at everything, it, the simplicity of it uh, ultimately was the simplicity and the longevity of it. We wanted a generational home. We wanted a home yeah. that could last, you know, years and years. That we could get old in. Yeah. If you look at old stick frame homes or, you know, conventionally built homes, that home, 150 years old, you walk in, the walls are a little crooked. There's so many things you gotta worry about with conventional build that I don't have any of those concerns. I don't have to worry about moisture. You don't have to worry about a vapor barrier being broken every time somebody runs a staple, a screw, or puts in a, an, a receptacle. Having ICF gives you that extra bit of reassurance that your family's gonna be safe and that you're, you're in something that's gonna hold up to the elements. We've used the Nadura block. Mm -hmm. What did you find was an advantage? What did you like about the Nadura system? Nadura has some obvious advantages. One, I would say, is that the density of the foam was quite good. It was quite rigid and I never, I didn't see any of that consistent. issue with it. It was very consistent, yeah. yeah. You noticed that yeah, quite a bit too. Yeah. The other one too was there is a reversibleness with how they they set up. Yeah, you don't need to order cars. You can just cut, take a waste piece and just flip it. Yeah, up. and just the size of the panel, like mm -hmm. the full length panel, that made it. That I think was great. One of my favorite features is that it comes late flat. flat. Right. Yeah. yeah. It saves a lot of space. We've had an opportunity to do some pretty extensive renovations mm -hmm. on some houses in town and we've helped with some other people on a renovation. Yeah, who happened to be a senior and um, she ended up getting moisture issues in her walls and there's mold coming through and the paint's peeling off and ultimately it needs to be torn apart and redone. And I mean, I never worry about that with our house, as long as you're maintaining mm -hmm. your roof. And that's not an isolated event. No. no. We've done lots of renos where you're like, oh, you know, it's a good thing we're opening up the wall now. And we're not talking about a hundred year old home that we're renovating. No. We're renovating stuff that's 70s, 80s, our house that was built in 2000. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's issues inside those walls mm -hmm. that we know uh, with certainty. If that house was built with insulated concrete farm, you wouldn't have seen those issues. If we're going to build some, we're going to build it once and we're going to build it right. You don't just build with ICF because you decided not to build with stick frame. You build with ICF because you're looking for a home that is built to last. Every other type of home is basically built with an expiry date. ICF is built to last for generations. And that's the difference. Well, I think that covers everything for today. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys more in the future and we're gonna do more projects. Yes, more Nadura. <laughs> um, okay. Thanks everybody, thanks for tuning in.